No, it would be crazy. So that is why we do have the creep mode function on these machines. All right, so first off, let's talk about how to actually engage creep mode. Now, what we're gonna have right over here in front of our right joystick, we'll have a little rocker switch here with a turtle and a rabbit on it. So to engage creep mode on this machine, we're going to pull back one time. Once we pull back on that, we'll notice up in our left hand control screen here panel, we will have that image of a snail. So this is letting us know that we are in creep mode. Now, some of the questions are usually, why would we ever need to use creep mode, which is a good question. So creep mode is gonna be one of those one, a safety feature, and two, a feature that allows us to minimize the speed that our machine will go while having our machine revved all the way up here with the engine dialed all the way up to have full hydraulic function for those front attachments that need that full hydraulic function. So we're able to turn the machine on and if we were to have this at full rev, then we would be going the full amount of speed whenever we're using our joystick. But with creep mode, we can actually dial down and limit the speed that our machine will go when using our driving joystick. So now the next would be how do we disengage our creep mode here? And how we disengage that is we're gonna have a trigger on the left hand joystick where we simply pull that trigger and that disengages it. And then if we want to re-engage creep mode, we'd simply pull back one time on our rocker switch and that puts us back into creep mode. Now, next let's talk a little bit about our creep mode intervals. And as you can see up here in the left-hand screen, it has our creep limit right now set at 13%. So let me show you here going back up. I'm just gonna be pushing forward on my rocker switch here as we go up. As you can see, we're down into the 1% incre the one increment. So in these 1%, we'll have that all the way up to 20. So once I go up to 20, if I hit it again, now we're in 10 percentage increments here. So 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Now, if I want to go back down to those 1% increments, I can dial all the way back down here to 20 and now I'm at in the 1%. So now I can go 19 all the way down here to 1%. And now we are at 1% creep mode. So what this means is that whenever I dial our machine all the way up on the throttle here, and I go to get ready to go forward with this machine, we're only gonna be going at 1% of the speed that would normally be allowed with the full throttle. So I'm gonna go ahead and push my machine all the way forward here. And as you can see, we're just barely, barely crawling along here. Just barely there, just barely moving as we're in that 1%. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bump this back up to 20. And show you the difference there. Now this time I'm gonna go backward and then forward. So if I back up, now here we are at 20%, and then I'll go back forward. Still just at that 20%. Now I can go ahead and bump this all the way up to 100%, which would be the same as if I had the creep mode off. So now I'll go ahead and show you the dramatic difference there. So if I pull back, we are just instantly Turkey, jerky, I mean, it is as fast as it will go. Same thing here when I'm going forward. I mean, we are all over the place. So you could imagine that if you are wanting to run your hydraulic front attachments and you're needing to run such things as a trencher or maybe a brush cutter, maybe a tree saw, whatever those things are, a mulching head, wanting to use full force of your hydraulics. So you need that throttle all the way up to get the full force of those hydraulics. But could you imagine trying to make adjustments on the fly while driving, having that all the way up and trying to make those adjustments and drive with all that herky-jerkiness and still trying to use that attachment? No, it would be crazy. So that is why we do have the creep mode function on these machines is to make that a safer way to operate your front attachments that require that full hydraulic force 
but you want to limit the speed at which your driving function works. So right there guys, pretty simple there how to activate. Remember we just turn it on by flipping our switch over here on the side. And if we wanna turn it off, we reach over to our left hand trigger on our joystick to turn that off to adjust and dial in that speed. We can change it right here by either going up or going down on our rocker switch here at the side. So very, very simple. I hope that this video helps you out. And if it did, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as that helps us out as well. And also guys, if you have any other questions or any other comments, make sure to leave those in the comments section below so I can be sure to get back to you. And also guys, while you're down there in the comments section, make sure to scroll up just a little bit into that description portion. Make sure to click on that link to 247parts.com where you can go to get any and all of your parts needs for your John Deere 333G or any other John Deere equipment, whether it be tractors, gators, lawnmowers, whatever those things are make sure to check that out and as always guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time hey guys make sure to check out this cool video and this one buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here